Okay, so what diseases do you want to watch out for as far as clones? Well, I mean, you should choose a plant that didn't have a disease to start with. That's going to be the first thing. So your mother plant has to be free of disease and healthy, um, have plenty of water in that plant to start with is also very important. So you don't want to clone from a mother plant that's, um, you know, having some water issues, some water loss. But as far as the clones, if you don't have an actual disease, the biggest thing that you're, that can kill your clone would be a fungal um, pathogen or just fungus in general. So there's a bunch of different types of fungus that can do it. And the things that really help prevent fungus um, are proper temperature. And then also some kind of antifungal. We use cinnamon, it works pretty well. But as, if, as long as you have proper temperature, the plant has pretty good defenses, even just as a clone to deal with um, fungus. So you don't want to have temperatures above around 75 degrees is where you're going to start to really increase fungal infestation. If you get to 80, you're probably going to have significant losses from fungus in your clones. So you really don't want to have high temperatures. That's going to be the biggest issue.